Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we got all the A-side moons in Steam Gardens, with the exception of the Secret Path, which we'll be getting later. Today we're going to open up the Moon Rock and do the B-side moons in Steam Gardens. Uh, we also missed a few purple coins. Uh, we have, I think, 93? Out of a hundred? Yeah, so there's seven more around somewhere, and I've not and I can't quite remember where, so we're looking for those today as well. Uh first though we'll open up the moon rock. Uh it's taking a bit longer than I anticipated. There we go. So there's three sub areas to visit plus a whole bunch of other moons. So there's a lot of stuff to do in this kingdom on the B side. So first we're gonna head over this way. Uh, hopefully I'll remember what this moon is about. Oh, right, right. Uh, so the moon, you can see, like, on the map, it's basically where I'm standing now. But where it actually is, is at the top of that tree. Uh, and we can't reach it from down here as far as I know. We have to actually climb up to get up there. Uh, so that one we won't do just yet. Uh, let's see, we can... We'll go this way and do some of the moons over there first, I think. Look at that cute bonita. Look, 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 look how happy they are. What a cutie. Oh my gosh. Okay, so one of the moons that's now available is that this uh, bobone in here needs some fire in order to cook. Basically, we have to get a fire bro and ignite this, this spot here. Uh, so we'll be doing that. Uh, let me see. There's also a bird fluttering around now, one of those like whack the bird with your hat to get the moon out moons. It's pretty annoying this one because it flies basically around this whole area where the bottomless pit is. Uh, so it's a bit of a hassle. Uh, we'll be getting to that shortly. Uh, I think the first thing we'll do is probably head into this sub area since it's right here. I forget which one this is. Uh, let's have a look. Ah, this one. This is Breakdown Road. Uh, is the name of this sub area. There are two moons to get in here, and this area is kind of important uh, for a reason we'll find out much later in the game. Uh, but for the moment, we'll just be getting those two moons. Not too much trouble. Uh, uh, what basically what happens is the bullet bills are destroying bits of the platforms, uh, therefore making it much more dangerous. Uh, so there's one moon we can get by getting the key, and there's another moon we can get by capturing this bullet bill, the lower one, this bonsai bill, sorry, and just flying straight at that wall there. So both of these moons are pretty easy. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, yeah, this isn't a very hard area. Um, at least at the moment. <laughs> hint, hint. Uh, just grab another moon, there we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's our first two power moons uh, for this this area. Uh, we're done in this sub area for now. Uh, we're just gonna keep climbing up and do some other moons. I think I mentioned already there are some, now some moon shards in the um, in the maze that you're supposed to go through using the um, uproots. You can still get them without using uproots, so I will just to keep the crouching going. Uh, you can see, there's one of the moon shards there. The rest are actually inside the maze. So, yeah, we'll just hop over here and start grabbing. As usual, there's five of them, because that's the number of moon shards that there are. I guess, I don't know. Yeah, they're all reachable without actually using an uproot, but it's much faster to do with one, I imagine. There we go. And I think... I'm not sure, there might be another moon in this area now as well. I forget whether that that one is in the moon rock or not. I forget if we got it, like, previously. <laughs> Oops. Get out of the way. <laughs> I'm trying to do some weird stunts and stuff here. Hang on, I'll just, hang on, I'll just capture it and then... There we go. Yeah, you can kill an uproot with a ground pound, you can't with a normal thing. Okay, that's two. And yeah, that uproot respawns pretty much instantly, because the assumption is that you're going to want to use it, even though I don't want to use it. So, <laughs> there we go. 
So we did capture the upgrade a few times, but we didn't actually use it to get any of the moon shards, so all good. Pretty much just captured it in order to get out of the way. Uh, I think this nut is new. Uh, from the moon rock. Nope. Uh, no, it's that one out there that's new, actually. Not this one. Uh, yes, yeah, there's another moon shard up here. Obviously, if you were using an uproot, you could get up onto these ledges pretty easily just by extending your legs. But we're doing it this way. Um, uh, up. That's four. That's the last one. Hmm. Is it over there? I'm not sure. Uh, we can't leave the maze in this direction. We have to actually head, head back the other way, so... We're just gonna... Uh, because to move those platforms with the up arrow, you have to push them up from below using an uproot. There's no other way to do it. Ah, uh, there's the last one. Uh, the moon spawns outside the maze because the last moon shard, if you do them in the intended order, is the one outside the maze. But we got it first because, of course, we did. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm pretty sure I can get up here. Maybe? Maybe I need an upgrade to get up there. That looks really high, and the wall jump in this game isn't that great. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I might just grab this uproot just to get out of the maze. Uh, I actually got all the moon shards without using it, so that that's okay. Uh, maybe you need the platform to be up, and then you can do it without the uproot, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I've got one now, so I'm just gonna... Climb up to here. There we go. There we go. Here's the moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> so that's three. Uh, as you can see, yeah, there's quite a few in this kingdom to be gathered. Uh, we could do the um, Master Cup. We won't do that just yet. Uh, there's another moon over here we have to use an uproot for. Uh, like, it's, it's mandatory in this case. You basically... Um, I'll go get one from down here because it's probably faster. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's bring the uproot back to that ledge we were standing on a moment ago. Ba, 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 is, is you. <laughs> uh, you just have to take the uproot basically up this flower path here. And then across the collapsing platforms over there. Uh, because there's a monitor over there who would like to see an uproot in order to understand how they work. So like a, a biologist or whatever. Here we go. Yeah! So yeah, this is some... Let's see a biologist here just gave a moon to an uproot. <laughs> I love that. That's so cute. Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, we already got that one. We're just gonna hop out of hop out of the uproot now. Make our way over here. Uh, there's a moon. Oh, hello. Oh, bird, 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 bird. Can we can we get the bird? Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, we're probably too slow. Yeah, we've got to hit that bird with our hat, and it flies over the bottomless pit a lot, so it's kind of tricky. The timing is annoying. Um. There aren't any more moons inside the tower, but there is one on top. So I'm just going to warp up there. Let's have a little time. We could go up the inside again, but there's nothing else in there now, so there's not much point. Uh, this area was empty before we opened the moon rock. Uh, it was where we fought the boss, the mini boss, the brutal, spew it. Uh, but now there's one of these invaders here, which is basically a little UFO that's shaped like a hat. And you just have to jump on it a couple of times. But to get up high enough to jump on it, you have to stack up some Goombas, basically. Um, and that's the gimmick. There's a couple of these in the game, in a few different kingdoms. I think this is the first one that you that you meet. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, there's a couple later on which are harder. There's one where you need to stack up like 10 Goombas to reach it, which is ridiculous. This one, you just need the five, and it doesn't have very many attacks going on, so it's not too tricky. There we go. And yeah, it just takes two bops, which is kind of weird because you think it would take three, but it doesn't. Also, um, the alternate version of the Steam Gardens music plays during that battle, which is the version that's meant to play when you're fighting the tanks. I think that's because the tanks have despawned and they wanted the music to still play somewhere. 
I don't know. Some rocks and stuff here, but they're not that interesting. I think they might have a heart in. Yeah, that's just to let you heal up during the battle if you want. We didn't need that though. Uh, I believe every time you warp the bird resets, so if I look at the map now, you can see there's a little cross over there. That's where the bird is. It actually, if you pause again after just waiting a little bit, you can see it's moving around. See? So yeah, you can actually track where a moon rock bird is because it shows up on the map like that. Um, I don't know what the best way to get it is. I think probably warping up this sort of area would be a good spot. Uh, hmm. I always have trouble with that one. Uh, let me see, let me see. We can do the Cooper free running again. It's a little bit harder, but not a lot harder. Um, there's another moon over there. There's a couple moons. So there's lots of moons all over the place, basically. Uh, I'm going to help the observation deck. There's a couple of things we can do up there. So you could see there was a moon marked there. Uh, to get that one, we just have to go down from the observation deck. Uh, we won't be doing that one just yet. First, we'll be doing this. Hello, Peach. Door. Look how cute Tiara is. I love her so much. Look at that cutie. Anyway, yeah, uh, we talked to Peach in this kingdom, and as usual, we get a Peach Moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, thanks, Peach. Uh, it's talking about above the clouds, because the next kingdom in the game is the Cloud Kingdom, and we'll be going there shortly. Oh, hello. Okay, I actually did miss that one, and I think I forgot that I missed that one, which is why I haven't got it yet. There we go. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to capture this glide on here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, that box you can see contains a moon, so we're going to just try to glide our way over there. It is possible to reach it without glide on, but it requires a really, really tricky jump with perfect vectoring, and it's it's really hard. Uh, there we go, you just break that, and the moon just runs away, goes away over there because reasons. Um, I don't know why it does that. I believe we can dive over there, yeah. Let me just climb up and get it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, there is another moon up where the Glidon was that we want to get. Uh, the one that I was talking about that's actually on the map. Uh, you don't need to use the Glidon to get it, because it's actually not on the observation deck. It is underneath the observation deck. Uh, if we walk... Up the top here, up can show you the spot. Basically, if you just look directly underneath the observation deck over here, there is now a nut up there. Uh, I don't know if that can be reached without using an upgrade. I suppose if you kept dropping down from above, you could maybe do it, but that sounds like a huge hassle. I'm just going to grab an uproot and do it that way. Because, yeah, with an upgrade, it's very, very easy. All you got to do is just keep extending underneath it until the nut breaks and you can grab it. Uh, there's also a moon floating out there, just sort of in the void. Basically, you just have to jump from above to get it. Uh, this one's too tricky. We're doing that in a second. Ba -da -da -da. There are some invisible blocks here, which you can use to get on top of and gain enough height. There we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So it's possible, maybe, if you did like a triple jump, you could activate the blocks and maybe get on top of them. Uh, maybe. Uh, it's definitely much easier to do it the way I just did, though. Uh, this coin copper here, I'm just gonna capture it just to get the coins. Just because we we can use, we can always use more coins. Uh, there we go. Cute. <laughs> Look at that cutie. <laughs> yeah, the robots are adorable. Okay, uh, yeah, basically just want a long jump to get that moon. Um, since there's this little ledge here, we're a bit tricky to aim our long jump precisely. Uh, we'll see how we go. Because if we do, if we start rolling here, we will roll off the edge and have a bit of a problem. But I think if we just do something like that, we should be able to... Da -da 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 -da. Yeah! So yeah, with the long jump, it's easy. Uh, with the backflip and then bounce and then dive like that, it's probably a bit harder. But I managed it, so we're good. Um, what else do I need to do? Uh, so there's just a whole bunch of stuff to do all over the place in this kingdom, really. Uh, let's go do the race next, I reckon, because it's just over here. 
the race is basically the same as before, but you absolutely have to skip the maze. I think the Gold Cooper might skip the maze too, which actually makes it, you know, a bit tricky because they're not hilariously slow compared to you. Uh, but it's not that tricky. It might take a try or two, I'm not sure. Uh, there's a moon up there, so we'll be getting that one shortly. We have to use Glide on again. There might be another way to get up there, but with Glide on it's pretty easy, so. So yeah, um, this time there's a Gold Cooper, as usual, for the Master Cup races. And I believe the Gold Cooper will use the Maze Skip, so we have to do some pretty precise movement to get over there faster than them. They also go this way at the beginning because they're not dumb like all the other players. <laughs> no! It's bad up root. Stop it! So yeah, they, they, you see they do the same skip we do, but we're faster because we're awesome. Uh, and that was really, really close. Uh, if I hadn't accidentally started capturing that uproot and being whooped back by it, that would have been a lot less close, but we still made it work. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Ba -da -da -da. Uh, over here, there's a really cute Bonneteer, Bonneteer, who's just very, very scared because we we're very high up. I would like to give them a hug, but that's not an option in this game, unfortunately. So I can't do that. Uh, what other moons are there to do? Uh, there's a sub area just over here. I forget which one it is again. I can't really remember any of these. It might be Invisible, Invisible Road, or it might be another one. Oh, this one. Uh, this might be a hassle. Basically, you have to get this sheep all the way up to this spot. Uh, and there's a bunch of ledges they can fall off. And to make the sheep, like, jump, you have to throw Cappy at it. So, this could be this could be a thing. Uh, I mean, we'll see how this goes. As you can see, when you hit the sheep with Cappy, it jumps very high. Uh, yeah, but basically, yeah, we've just got to keep hitting the sheep to make it move forward because it won't otherwise jump over these gaps. I think rolling towards it and then doing a long jump is probably easiest. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Wait, does rolling into the sheep hit it forward? It does! Okay, that, that actually makes things a lot easier. I didn't realise that worked. Uh, there's a big hole there where the sheep fell down. It'll respawn in a second. There we go. Uh, so yeah, let's try this again. All we've got to do is just roll into the sheep rather than throw Cappy at it, which makes things a bit easier. Did not realise that was an option. Uh, the sheep will run away from you on its own, so we can just sort of lead it to where we want it to be before we start doing the jumps and stuff. Oh no! <laughs> it doesn't jump high enough to get it straight up there. You do have to go all the way around this path, which is a bit tricky. Uh, there is a second sheep in here as well, which I'm a little more worried about. Uh, because it's to get that one to its location, you have to do it under a fairly strict time limit. Uh, this one, you have as much time as you need, so... Uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, this is probably the hardest sheep herding in the game. Uh, there, there's a bunch of other sheep herding sections. We've done a few of them already. But this is the only one with, like bottomless pits you have to avoid, basically. Oh dear. I like how the hole in the clouds is so big when the sheep falls down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah. This, this will take a little while, probably. Um, there's not a whole lot we can do to make this easier. There aren't any captures you can do in this area. There's just robots that you can't capture. Uh, so basically, this is just how the challenge be. Uh, I'm not making it artificially difficult in any way, besides the fact that we're, you know, permanently crouching. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, um, this is relative- this is- this is one of the trickier, uh, sub-areas, even in norm- under normal conditions. This first sheep I don't usually have too much trouble with, but the second sheep is very hard. Uh, 
I think it's more precise if I throw Cappy rather than rolling in terms of what direction the sheep goes. Uh, because when you throw Cappy, she always goes whichever way you have the stick tilted rather than the way you're facing. Whereas when you roll into these sheep, they go based on the way Mario is facing and the angle you have and all sorts of other stuff. Which I think is probably a lot less precise. Uh, Okay, there we go. Uh, I have to be careful here because, yeah, the sheep will fall off the edge here if you don't get the positioning just right. Uh, here, you can accidentally just chase the sheep off because there's no railing, so you gotta be careful with that too. Now, if we crawl our way around here, we should be able to scare it away from the edge, which would help us out. Okay, there. Uh, okay. Uh, we're nearly there, um, this is proving difficult, but it should be doable if we just take it slow, nice and slow. Okay, there, I think if we whap the sheep with a well-placed cap throw now, it should... Oh, oh, oh gosh, that's scary. Okay, okay, uh... Oh no, oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, uh, let's come back over here. Maybe we'll try doing the second sheep first. To do the second sheep, you just have to come over here. Uh, there's a pipe you can go into, which leads up to this other platform, which has a second sheep, and a P-switch you can press. Pressing the P-switch will form a little pathway that the sheep and we can follow in order to reach the same spot over there as the other sheep is at. Uh, but... The timing is tight, and the sheep is not very cooperative. So we may have some trouble. <sighs> okay, sheep respawned. Okay, let's try to try to get it into the middle if we can, because, you know, the ledge is in the middle. That'd be the right place. Okay, there we go. No! <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, this one is, is significantly harder than the first one, because you have to do it with quite a tight time limit. Uh, if the platform vanishes, basically the sheep's going to fall, there's not much you can do about it. Okay, there we go, we've got the sheep on the platform. No, 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 no! <laughs> Okay, I mean the sheep survived somehow, but it didn't it didn't go where we wanted it to go. <laughs> so let's try this again. Uh, let's just lead the sheepy over that way. Oops. No, no, no. A little bit a little bit this way. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, press the button. There we go. Ah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a thing. Uh, okay, so scare the sheep over to the right sort of spot just by walking near it. There we go. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. One moon down. Ah. <sighs> okay. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, so this other one. Basically, we almost did it that last time, so it shouldn't be too tricky to do it. Uh, one thing I'm worried about is that, where you get your cap over the sheep and then it comes back and... I mean, she comes back, sorry. And then she comes back and bounces the sheep the wrong way. <laughs> Uh, which happens with long jumps, I think, more than backflips because of the relative heights involved. At least in my experience. Get, get out of the way, I'm trying to throw at the sheep. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, uh, that should work all the way if we just keep following that sheepy. We should be able to... Yeah, lead them all the way around here. No, 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 no. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, that killed the sheep. It respawns though, so not a problem. Okay, uh, let's try this again. Let's leave the sheep this way. Okay, that's a good spot. Too far, too far, too far. Oh my goodness. Hard, but we're doing fine. Okay, sheepy, let's just let's just go a little bit more this way. This way, that's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, and now backflip and throw. Okay, now we'll get the sheepy over to there. Okay, okay, we're making good. We're making good progress. Good progress. We we'll crawl all the way over to the edge here. So the sheep doesn't just run off. The sheep will do that if you're not careful, so that's something to watch out for. Oh jeez. Okay, okay. Uh, just squeeze around this edge here. There we go. Don't walk off. Yes! Okay, now the sheep's up here. This is basically easy. Uh, all we're gonna do is just get over this side. Uh, throw our hat like that, and we're good. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, definitely the first sheep was harder than the second one there, which is interesting, because the second sheep is definitely intended to be the harder of the two. Um, <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, oh my goodness. So that's that sub-area done. Uh, there is one more sub-area to do, and a bunch of moons just out in the open. Uh, Okay, let me see. Uh, I reckon we'll warp up to the observation deck and we can use Glideon to grab that moon that's up on top of that high platform we were looking at. Uh, as you can hear, they're being cute as usual. Uh, yeah, let's just grab Glideon. So yeah, like I said, if you look uh, we can't quite see it from this angle. Oh, no. Oops. Okay, well, um... Um... <laughs> I'm not dead. Um, I'm in the deep woods, but... Wow, that was, that was amazing. <laughs> um, we're still missing a few purple coins. They might be down here, so we might want to have a quick look around, just to make sure we didn't miss any here. Uh, there aren't any more moons down here, thankfully. Uh, none of the um, moon rock moons spawn down here, which is good for us because moon rocks are annoying. Uh, there are quite a few purple coins down here, so it's possible we missed a few. Uh, let's see, we got those. Let me just roll around a bit. Uh, we got those. That, that's a moon. We got the moon. I don't think there's any more purples in here. I think we got all of them, so... The other six wants to be somewhere else that we've missed. Up, 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 up. Up, up, up. Okay. Alright, we're back. Uh, there is a moon we can get up here, so we'll go do that. Uh, basically, we just want to head up this cliff over here. We did already go over here to... There were some purple coins, I think, just off the edge, maybe? There were some purple coins here, definitely. I think we already got them, though. Uh, anyway, what we want to do is just roll here and grab these notes. Oh no, I missed one! I'd try again. Oh dear. Okay, but yeah, you get the idea. There's just a, just a bunch of notes to grab by rolling along that real fast. Rolling is the intended way, so the fact that we're forced to roll is not a problem. Uh, I 
It does get a bit tight, but it's not a huge deal. I'm just going to climb my way back up there. And try that again. Okay, yeah, there were some purple coins there. You can see those those three just floating in the air there, but we already got them, so... All good. Okay, I'm facing kind of the wrong way, so... Ah! I slipped off the side, gosh. Oh my goodness. Uh, the first time, first time I went off there was on purpose, so I could reset, but that second time, not so much. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, if you land while you have some momentum from a regular jump, you still do a long jump, because you have the, the momentum. It puts you into long jump mode, and then you're stuck there. <sighs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, we'll come back to that later. It's clearly proving to be a bit tricky. Let's do that glide on one I was talking about. Uh, so you're just reaching 30 minutes, and there's a whole bunch of moons to do. Jeez. <laughs> this is a big kingdom. Okay, so yeah, we'll capture glide on and not mess it up this time. There we go. So yeah, we can see it. There we are at that angle. You can see right in front of us that nut down there. We're just gonna fly on down, break it, get the moon out. Come to think of it, actually, you could probably. Oop. Oh no, <sighs> I'm having problems. You could probably use glide on to get the um bird, the bird traveling the traveling around moon. That would probably be easier than trying to hit it with Mario without being able to glide. I might give that a shot. First, though, let's get that moon I almost got and then messed up right at the end there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm wondering if I should probably cut out some of the some of my failed attempts on this video. Yeah, I, I usually just leave them all in, but I don't know. It might it ends up a bit long. Okay, there we go. Uh, you can just ground pound this to break it. There you go. Or you can hit it with Cappy a few times. Ba da ba, yeah. Looking down on the Goombas. Alright, uh... Let's see, we already got the one in the crate over there. Uh... Let's see... Where's the bird? There's the bird. Let's see if we can hit the bird with a glide on glide. Uh, if we try to glide off the edge in that direction, we're probably just gonna die, so it might be better not to do it that way. Uh... Okay, that worked. Um, the moon is high up, but we can get back up there and then just jump back down, so not a problem. Uh... Then we won't be moving anymore, which means we don't have to worry too much about our timing. We can just climb up nice and slow. I believe you can't actually checkpoint warp. I think that will reset the moon. But we didn't need to do a checkpoint warp anyway, because we just climbed this vine to get up there. Uh, let's see. The moon should be... yeah, there it is. And we can just drop down from up here to get it. Not too tricky. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, we're making good progress. Uh, let's see. Um... I reckon I'll go get a fire bro next and do the fire bro firing the fire fire thing moon. Oh, there's also one in here actually. Uh, there were some purple coins here earlier, but there's also now, if you just look up there, you can see there is a moon we can get. Ba -da -ba, yeah! Pretty easy to get. You can go grab an uproot if you want, but you can just get on that platform and do it that way, which is just as easy and doesn't require us to do a capture, so. It's good for our run, where we don't want to do too many captures. Okay, just get up here. Uh, there's a fire bro here, which we can use. There's a couple of other fire bros in the area you can get instead. I usually get this one. There we go. Um, fire bros always hop around like this. The same thing with the other kinds of bros, pan bros and all that. It's just a thing they do, it's kind of weird. 
Uh, we actually want to use that uproot in a second, because there's a moon just up there we can get using an uproot. Possibly up there. It's on one of those ledges there that we can get to using the uproots. Uh, it's another note collecting moon, and it can be done without the uproot, but it's ridiculously difficult without an uproot in normal circumstances. Uh, it's basically like that cloud area where you have collect a bunch of stuff that's in a vertical column. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Except it's moons this time, it's not moons, except it's notes instead of coins. So, did we already get those ones? Yeah, we did. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Da -da -da -da. Uh, let me just think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, that nut, we need to get that. Uh, I think we can do it without actually using a capture, so let's just ditch our fire bro there. I don't think we need to use an uproot. Um, so yeah, I did try to go up here earlier, but the moon wasn't actually there, so yeah. Okay, so yeah, we can get enough height to do this. Pretty easily, actually. There we go. I don't know if we need a cap bounce, or if we're just doing the wall bump. Are we enough? We might need a cap bounce for this last play. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Awesome. Okay, how are we doing? There's one, two, three, four more moons on the map there, plus the two up there. I'm just going to warp us up to the flower field so we can reach the other uh, sub area. Uh, this one, I think is I think it's Invisible Road. Uh, basically, there's an invisible road. A bunch of platforms are invisible, but they're covered, or partly covered, in poison piranha plants, and the poison makes the platforms visible. But also, you know, deadly. Visible yet deadly platforms. Yeah, this is it. Invisible Road. Um, this one is another one that will become harder later on. Uh, but for the moment, this is not too tricky. Uh, because Cappy's momentum tricks and stuff are so effective, you can basically climb over the whole area without too much trouble. Uh, there are two moons in here. There's one at the back there. To open that cage, you have to whack all the big piranha plants. I think the small ones you can skip. The other moon is in that box over there, where you can see this little opening. Uh, when you go in there, there is... There is a... Oops. Yeah, go watch out for that. Okay, uh, we lost the life up part, but that's not a problem. That's fine. We don't need it. Yeah, so yeah, the other moon is just... You come in here, you bonk into that. ba da ba da ba Yeah! Easy peasy. Uh... So yeah, for the main moon in here, since that's basically the like hidden moon of the area, if you think about it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to actually kill that piranha plant because it's bugging me. Uh, like the other piranha plants, they eat Cappy if you try to throw her at them, and you just got to kick them, basically. Uh, I am taking a lot of hits, actually. Uh, I haven't got my amiibos with me, they're in the other room, so I don't really want to have to use the peach one. Hopefully I'll be able to do this without it. Yeah, that shouldn't be too much trouble. There we go. Job done. And yeah, this cage breaks open. We can grab that moon. Uh, the platform, like, the invisible platform leads all the way to the edge there. You can't fall in that gap, I'm pretty sure. Let me just see. I was trying to do a downward cap throw. It's hard to do those. <laughs> Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And that heals us back up. Yeah, yeah, as you can see, the platform, it leads just all the way to the edge there. Nothing to worry about. Ba -ba -ba. So that's the sub area is done. Just a few moons left. Uh, let me have a look. Okay, so. Probably the, that one with the notes next. Uh, basically, it's just... I think it's just off this edge here. Actually, it's a timer challenge. That's the timer challenge it's talking about. That's going to be a thing. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's, there's the Scarecrow. Um, yeah, so basically, you put Cappy on this Scarecrow here, and it'll spawn a bunch of platforms over there. 
that you have to traverse to make your way over. Oh, almost. Ah, oh, that was really close. Okay, um, the musical note is right there, and the uproot we need is right here, so we're just going to do that now while we're here. Uh, the timer challenge will not be very hard, as you saw. I nearly did it that time. Uh, I just had to do that last little bit better, and we should be fine with that. So yeah, as you can see the notes, they're in big vertical piles, and I just accidentally hit the relocate camera button. But yeah, this is very easy with an uproot. Much, much harder without one. <sighs> there we go. Uh, I'll ditch the upright to grab the moon, because I don't think I need it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, how are we doing? Uh, there's three left, that timer challenge, those other notes, and something else. Near the free running, apparently. I don't remember what that is, though. Hmm. Yeah, I can't remember what that one is. Um... Well, we'll walk back up, we'll do the timer challenge, and then I might be able to see it from over there. <laughs> -da 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 -da. Okay, yeah, so we just walk back up here. So yeah, this one, because you can basically just start using, start with a long jump to get to the poles, and on the poles you're unaffected, it shouldn't be too hard. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Even without Cappy, not too tricky. Uh, there we go. Alright, uh, I think it's over here near the painting, by the looks of things. Let's have a look. So we already went through the painting, we did that. Um, yeah, it should be just about here somewhere, but I can't remember exactly. Thing is, it could be like way above us or way below us. This level is quite vertical, and there's a lot of things stacked above other thing, other things. And the map is, of course, 2D. Oh right, yeah, there's a nut just there. I forgot about that. Uh, let's just do it without. You're supposed to just bring in an uproot from outside, but you know, why do that when you don't have to? Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is one moon left that we'll be doing, which is the other moon rock moon. And that will be the video. Um, the only moon left here is the Secret Path Moon, which we'll be doing later when we get to the other side of it. Uh, so let's just go over here. I believe if we get a seed from one of these robots, one of these robots will have a seed, I think. I think there's one we can get. I can't see it, though. Uh, we got also, we got also still missing some purple coins, which is strange because we've gotten every moon. Uh, the purple coins are not inside the secret path, unless I'm misremembering really badly, which is possible. Uh, okay, yeah, let's just go over this way to get up there. Yeah, that's that's really easy with a little bit of practice. Uh, I did think you couldn't do that without the triple jump, but you can do it without a triple jump. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so what I want to do is try to get in position so that... I start rolling to touch the note, rather than throw Cappy at it to activate it. Uh, I mean, the timing, I think I was fine already, but... Okay, well, nope, I threw Cappy at it. So yeah, we just gotta basically not miss any, that would be great. I don't know how much time we have for missing things. I think you might have to do them all in one run. No, we're good, we're good. We are good. Okay. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. And that's all the moons we'll be doing. Uh, that's uh, 23 moons. Wow. Uh, we'll catch them in. Oh, yeah. That's so satisfying. <laughs> Bam. Yeah. We should get some new products. Yes, we did. Uh, let's check what that is. It's probably the other half of the Wario outfit, but it might be something interesting. Not that Wario's not interesting, it's just there's a certain thing I'm looking for. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -da. Yeah, it's just the other half of the Wario suit. Uh, I don't think you ever need that. You need this one, which we'll be getting later, and you need this one, which we'll be getting later, and I think that's about it.
Oh no, you actually need this one. No, not that one. This one, the ma mechanic mechanic outfit. You need that as well. Uh, okay, so we did miss a couple of purple coins somehow. Uh, I'll buy the outfits and stuff they have here. Uh, yeah, I'll put on the scientist outfit. I don't think you actually need this one for a moon, but maybe you do. Uh, and the stickers. We can't afford just everything because we're a few purple coins short. I don't know where I missed them. Hmm. I might have another look around off camera just to see if I can find it. But for now... Actually, maybe it's in the secret path. Hang on, I might just warp up there and just have a quick peek. Um, the secret path leads to... Uh, an area that you can see pretty easily, but can't access without being inside of it. Also, yeah, this is how Mario looks with the scientist visor. Cute. Okay, so the, yeah, the secret path leads to inside this cage here. Uh, as you can see, there's a moon in there, and no purple coins, so... Yeah, this isn't the spot. Um, I don't know where it could be. I've been everywhere, I thought. Most likely there's something in the deep woods I forgot about, or maybe just some coins off the edge somewhere that I've forgotten about. How many are we short? Six. So, probably two groups of three? I don't know. Um, I, I might have a look around off camera, but we're not trying to get all the purple coins, really. We're just trying to get all the moons. So, we're not too too worried about that. Uh, for now, goodbye, Glide On. That's the video. Um, next time, we will be heading... Actually, I'll move to the next kingdom straight away, maybe. Now I'll do the next video. Next time, we're heading to, I believe, the Cloud Kingdom. Yes. Uh, it looks like there's only two moons there. There is a moon rock, which adds a few more, but overall it's a very small kingdom. I think there's five total, maybe six. There are not very many moons there. Uh, and it won't take us very long. It'll be a short video, and I'll probably do it all in one go instead of doing A-side, B-side videos. Just because it's such a small kingdom. This is so cute. This is, um, that's the same music from Fossil Falls. The, it's the main game theme, which has been remixed into a little cute lullaby. I like it. Uh, anyway, uh, that's this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Next time we'll be going back to Nimbus Arena and getting some moons, because it turns out Nimbus Arena, despite being a boss battle and nothing else, still has moons in it. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Gosh. Um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching.